Hello everyone and welcome back to Crochet Delight. I'm Barbara and this is Sophia. And today I'm going to show you how to turn the easy crochet crop top into a beautiful blouse that I like to call the pretty in pink blouse. So, if you're interested, stay tuned. And let's get to the tutorial. Alright, so here are the things that you're going to need for the top. So, it's best to use a sport weight yarn. So you can either use the Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable yarn in whatever color choice that you want. It'll create a very beautiful variegated uh, multicolored pattern. However, it's best to actually use a plain, which I used a Pink Baby Sport by Burnett Yarn. You're going to need one cord already cut and sized to the smallest part of your waist. And that's the only cord that you're going to need. So, there you go. You're going to need your hook. This is a size G hook. You can go with an E or a G hook for this pattern. Those are the best hooks for working with this yarn. You're going to need a pen. I've got my rainbow trout pen. You're going to need your notebook or a piece of paper to keep track of a few things. Don't worry, you don't really have to keep track of your rounds, but you will have to keep track of how many stitches you have in a round. So, and you're going to need your scissors. Now, before we get really into it, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what you need to start to write down. Since the crop top works uh, with the measurement over your bust, that's how many chains you want to start out with to make your top. Uh, you're you're going to be going right back to the easy crochet crop top and making that with only one cord to make this blouse. But bear in mind you're going to need an even number going all the way around because that's what you're going to write down. For me, I did 110 so that'll be the first number that I write down. So, do that and make sure you write down the number that you start out with around your bust line. And then go back and make your easy crochet crop top with only one cord and let and then we'll get started for the next part of this tutorial you're gonna need to get out your piece of paper with the number of stitches that you have in total your pen and stitch markers the stitch markers will be using on the top part of the blouse so you're also gonna need a calculator or you could do it in your head whichever way you want uh, you're gonna take the number that you have and you're gonna divide it by two and for me, that's 55. And then you're going to divide that number by 2 again. And if you get a number where it's like 27.5, ignore the 0 0.5. So these are the three numbers that you need. This is the total. This is when you divide it in half. And when you divided it in half again. And I'll show you why when we get to the top part of the blouse. So you can set that aside for now. Make sure you have your stitch markers ready for when we do the top. But for now you can set those aside. As you can see it's a little curved. That's only because we have only one 
elastic cord. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the waist part first. So, once you get to the waist, all you're going to do is chain three, yarn over, you're going to skip the next stitch, and you're going to do a V stitch in the next stitch, which is a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet in the same stitch. Then you're going to repeat and you're going to skip a stitch, go into the next stitch, and double crochet. Skip a stitch, go into the next stitch, and do a V stitch. And that is your pattern all the way around for row one of your blouse. Sorry, round one. I'm used to working in rows for most of my projects. But you're going to repeat that all the way around, and then you're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three. And then I'll show you what to do for the next round. Okay. Round two is simple. But first, if you end up with an uneven number at the end, don't worry about it. Just slip stitch right back into the first stitch if you're one stitch off, so you're gonna chain three and you're gonna do a V stitch in the previous V stitch. And then you're gonna double crochet in the previous double crochet. And you're gonna repeat that all the way around. So go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back here. Alright. This is what you should have. And what you're going to do is you're going to do one more round exactly the same as round two. So go ahead and do that, and then we're going to switch it up. Alright, now that you have three rounds done, they should all be exactly the same. One double crochet, a V stitch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change it up a little. You can either go for a very subtle uh, growth or a really dramatic one. Personally, I think it looks better when you go for a subtle growth. So you're going to do your chain three. Now you're going to do two double crochets in the next V stitch, chain one, and two double crochets in the same stitch. And it should look like that. Then double crochet in the next double crochet. Now you can either do that or, when you get to the double crochet, chain one, double crochet, so you have a V stitch in the next double crochet. So now you're going to repeat two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in the next V stitch. And then in the next double crochet, you're going to do your V-stitch, or a regular double crochet, depending on how fast you want this to grow. So this is what you should have. I'm actually going to go back to here and do just a double crochet in the double crochet stitch. So my only increase will be in the V-stitch. But this is one way that you guys can increase. So go ahead and do that. Alright, so this is what you have so far. 
or what you should have is three with the normal v-stitch and then two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in the previous v-stitch and either a double crochet or a v-stitch in where the previous double crochet is now what you're gonna do is you're gonna repeat this last round two more times and then from there you're gonna go up every three well actually every four rows uh, once you get to your fourth row after this you do three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets in the chain space. And then you do a total of three rounds of that, and then on the fourth one, you increase one more double crochet on each side of the chain one in the chain one space. So I'll show you what I mean. There's the chain three. Now I'm gonna do the uh, increase just to show you what it'll look like. Your increase will always be in your chain space. And that is what your next increase will look like after you get two more rounds done with the two double crochet, the chain one, and two double crochet. So then once you get that done and you get three rows of this done, you'll do four. And you're only going to go up to five double crochets, chain one, five double crochets in the chain space. And that'll be it for this round. So I'll show you what this looks like all finished. Alright, I'll see you guys at the end of it. Alright, so in the end you should have something like this. And as you can see, it gradually works up to a larger shell. And that's what happens when you do three rounds of the same stitch with an increase on the fourth. So unfortunately this is all the time that we have for this video. So stay tuned for part two of the pretty in pink blouse that you can turn into a dress if you'd like. All you have to do is uh, keep repeating this pattern and you can make it as long as you want for a dress so I'll see you guys back in part two